Hi, in the previous video, we tested the grid trading system on the Forex market, showing good results, high returns, and an outstanding sharp ratio. It turns out, and thanks to your comments, that some of the details can be corrected for a more accurate backtest. So I applied the proposed changes to our algorithm, and you can download the updated version of the Python code from the link in the description below. If you haven't watched the previous video detailing the grid strategy and you are interested in knowing more about this, you might want to check that previous video first as it goes deeper into the details of the strategy. I will leave a link in the description as well. And after the code changes, we still have a potentially preferable system depending on the set of parameters we are using. I haven't spent much time optimizing the parameters, so you might want to download the code and simply have fun tuning these to your liking, depending on how much risk you want to include at the expense of decreasing the sharp ratio or decrease the risk and the returns and increase the sharp ratio. So what did change from the previous version? First of all, I removed one of the parameters here because I thought like the take profit stop loss ratio should be modified within this strategy. We don't have to set it at this point. We're still using the same functions so far. And the first parameter that we have to change was lot size. The lot size in the previous version was set to zero point something. And in backtesting package, a value below one, it means that you are taking a percentage of your current equity. And this means that every time we're passing two trades, the first trade is going to take a certain percentage of the total equity and the second trade is going to take the same percentage but only of the rest of the equity it violates the rules of the grid strategy somehow because we are trading both directions but not with the same lot size so at this point we needed to put the lot size as a fixed value right here into my size for this example i'm using 50. the second modification which is very important is happening here when using the backtest function what was happening previously in our backtest is that when we open a trade and then we try to open an opposite trade or a trade in the opposite direction backtesting was closing the previous trade so somehow if we are selling then we are buying of the same amount we're closing our selling position or the opposite if we are buying first and then selling somehow backtesting was closing our buying position because we just applied a selling position of the same size in order to allow backtesting to um, open two trades independently in the opposite direction, we can use the hedging parameter equal true. This means it will be allowing positions in the opposite direction on the same asset at the same time. And I'm using the exclusive orders equal false, meaning one order will not cancel the previous order. So these were the main changes that corrected somehow our backtest, which made it more accurate in this case. And for the stop loss values, I'm using 1.5 times the grid distance and the take profit that is equal to 0.5 that same distance. So the take profit stop loss ratio is 0.5. So these are random parameters. I just put these like this. Obviously, in this system, you always want to have a stop loss that is further than the take profit because you are counting on the choppiness of the market to make profit. And using these parameters with a cash account of $500 and a margin of 1 to 10, we get the following results. So we have a return percentage of 13.49%. This is over two months of data and the sharp ratio of 3.8, which is still not bad and the win rate of 72%. The equity has an increasing slope, as you can see here, with drawdown areas. If we are intending to decrease the risk and increase the sharp ratio, we could, for example, take additional starting cash here, starting value, and let's leave the margin one to 10, run this. We can see that we have a return of 1.7%, so it decreased in two months. But then our sharp ratio increases because up to 4.9 because the risk decreased. So it's all about finding this balance between the different uh, parameters. Uh, also, you might want to change the stop loss and the take profit ratios as well. You might want to experiment on these stuff. So I also allowed an infinite number of trades. So I'm not limiting the number of trades opened in parallel. So as you can see, for a simple strategy, we have quite a lot of parameters to work on. One more thing we want to keep in mind is that not all brokers would allow you to hedge trade. So 
some brokers might not allow you to open opposite positions at the same time on the same asset. This might be broker dependent and also location dependent. Some of the uh, US viewers mentioned this in the comment section that this is not allowed in the US. So at the moment, let's take this video for educational purposes only. Make sure to discuss with your broker first just to make sure that it's not going to cause you any problems. And of course, backtesting strategy is the first step of studying a system, but it's not enough. We need to test it live on the market on a paper account, as this would include the spread of the currency we are trading, and it might change our expected results. Now, obviously, if we decrease this to $50, which is possible because we are basically trading in opposite directions. In other words, we are trading with the broker's money. We can run this and we get around 22% in return and the sharp ratio of 2.6. We can also, for example, increase the margin, try it this way, and we get a return percentage of 163% and a decreased sharp ratio of 0.76 because the risk is increasing when we are increasing the margin. So that's all I had to tell you for this one. I hope you guys found the information helpful. If so, please support by subscribing, leaving a comment. Your ideas were very important for the previous video. And until our next one, trade safe and see you next time.